sprint trial results have just been reported and found that more intensive blood pressure lowering was very beneficial for people at high risk. And more specifically, they enrolled 9,500 people at high risk of cardiovascular disease and allocated them randomly to either a usual blood pressure target, what we normally do, below 140 millimetres of mercury, or a much lower target, below 120 millimetres of mercury. And they found that the people who, had, uh, who, who were treated to the lower target had a 25% reduction in the risk of cardiovascular events, but more importantly, a similar reduction in the risk of death, so they lived longer. This is really important research. This finding is going to really change the way blood pressure is understood and the way that it's managed all around the world, including here in Australia. Well, it's important um, to think about how the findings of the research can be implemented and all of us have a role in that. And everybody is able to help lower their blood pressure by um, simple lifestyle related measures, reducing salt intake, um, exercising more, watching their weight. That will help and everyone should do that. And these findings highlight again that, that those sort of things are more important than ever. But in addition, people who are at high risk of cardiovascular disease either because they've already had a cardiovascular event, a heart attack or stroke, they've got kidney disease, they're older, or because they're at high risk as calculated using calculators like the uh, cvdcheck.org.au calculator, um, will benefit from lower blood pressure targets. And these people need lifestyle changes, but also need intensive blood pressure lowering medication, aiming to get their blood pressure down below 120. What this means that people who are already on treatment for blood pressure should speak to their doctor about whether that treatment should be intensified. People who've got blood pressures and that were previously considered normal in the 120 to 140 range should speak to their doctor about whether they're at high risk of cardiovascular disease. And if they are, then take measures to respond. Many people with blood pressures in that range are at low risk of cardiovascular disease and for those people, lifestyle management is key.